High School Game Night brought to you by JD's Pazzo Pizza in Ephrata. Hello and welcome to the High School Game Night Halftime Show. I'm your host, John Buffone. It's week nine of the LL football season and it's crunch time. There are only six quarters left in the regular season and the pressure is on. In just a few minutes, we'll catch up with LMP's Jeff Reinhardt to get his take on the LL football scene. But first, let's introduce the newest athlete of the week. Thanks, John. For our athlete of the week, we go to the soccer pitch. The Mannheim Central boys are still alive and junior Zach Reed has been a huge part of their success. He has scored in the Barons' last four games, including in each District 3 playoff game. The final goal to put away Susquehannock in the district quarterfinals on Thursday night and also in the first round against Cocalico on Monday night. Reed leads the Barons with 14 goals this fall along with two assists and Central's got a huge matchup upcoming with Greencastle Antrim in the District 3 semifinals coming up Monday night at 5.30 at Lower Dolphin Middle School in Hummelstown. Brian Cast, News 11 Sports. Well, don't go anywhere. After the break, our high school football correspondent, Jeff Reinhardt, is going to give us his take on Wilson's winning streak coming to an end and what the future holds for effort of football. It's all coming up in just a minute. Stick around. High School Game Night brought to you by JD's Pazzo Pizza in Ephrata. Welcome back to the High School Game Night Halftime Show. I'm John Buffone, and as promised, I'm joined now by LMP's Jeff Reinhardt. Jeff, it's do or die time for a lot of these teams. Week nine, and we're halfway through it. Kind of crazy, isn't it? Uh, very, yeah, really crazy. Two weeks to go, and then we shuffle off to the playoffs. It's going quick. All right, I want to start off with the biggest story out of the LL last week. That would be the 68-game section winning streak of Wilson being snapped. Yeah. You called it. You picked Mannheim Township. Yeah. A bit of poetic justice there. Yeah. They were the last team to beat Wilson back yeah. in 07, and now yeah. 10 years later they do it in 2017. Two-part yeah. question for yeah. you. Uh, how impressive was this streak for Wilson, and mm -hmm. as, is this something they can rebound from? Because talking to some of the players in uh, years past, mm -hmm. uh, Austin Rosa comes to mind, a DN mm -hmm. from Wilson. He said, yeah. nobody wants to be that team yeah. that ends the streak. Yeah. The streak is done. Yeah. Is this something they get back from? Uh, well, the short answer is, yeah, I think they'll be just fine. I think I heard from somebody that 75% of Wilson's starters return next season. So somebody told me last week kind of, unsolicited you better get us now yeah. <laughs> because they're going to be go going back to Wilson will they snap out of it sure they're, yeah they'll be they'll bounce back tough game here with Hemfield this week because Hemfield's playing really well uh awesome streak unbelievable streak mm -hmm. really 10 years 68 wins Township played great tip of the cap congrats to those guys really shut Wilson down played great D uh Grayson Saladay was great couple touchdowns um amazing what Wilson did absolutely amazing uh, as you mentioned, I kind of bookended it, and I covered both of those township games. Saw some unbelievable football in between. Amazing, some comeback wins, some great wins, some great seasons, some great stats, some awesome kids. First time since 2000, uh, 2003 uh, was the last time Wilson lost back-to-back -back section games. We'll see how they handle Hempfield this week. But also on the bubble for districts, and they haven't been, uh, missed districts in 12 years. So sad to see it go. Mm -hmm. Great ride. Congrats, Wilson. Amazing job. 68. That's going to be tough to beat. Mm. And <laughs> take another 10-year Another 10 years. Amazing. Amazing. One thing I want to do is I want to move down to Section 2 real quick. I want to talk about Mannheim Central. They're currently on track to take the section, but Cocalco yeah. is looking better and better oh. as the weeks progress. Are these teams, section race aside, because yeah, yeah. Central currently has the inside track to that, yeah. but uh, going into the, into the district playoffs, are these mm. two teams on a collision course to meet again? Sure, uh, looks like it. Harrisburg's number one with a you know with a bullet. Those guys are flying. They're you know undefeated and they should get the one seed. But as we speak, Central's the two, Cocalico's the three. So their first round matchups. If the season ended today, which it doesn't obviously, but Cocalico would play Cedar Crest in the first round, a rematch. Mannheim Central would play Waynesboro uh, out of the mid pen. Harrisburg's the one seed. York is the four seed. So Central at two, Cocalico three. Two would play, play three in the Bouncing semifinals. Finish, yeah. So if they take care of business, if everything kind of pans out the way it is, if the brackets fall the way they, we think they will, mm -hmm. we'll see Cocalico at Mannheim Central in the final four. Wow. Crazy to think about those teams that are so familiar with each other could be playing for a chance to get in to the district championship Again, game. just like last year, and Central took care of business in that game last year. So we'll see. I think everybody around here would love to see that rematch. I know I would. Well, mm. I want to I finish on uh, Ephrata. It's mm. Section 3. They're, next year, they'll be moving down to uh, another winless season in sight, but it could mm. look like there's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, like I said, moving down to Section 3. Yeah. Uh, the, the 
they're showing some flashes this year. Yeah. Um, how many? Well, maybe we're not talking about one win next year as much as we might be talking about multiple wins next Indeed. year. Although one win would do so much for this program. Yeah. Uh, what, what are we looking for as far as effort of football in 2018? Yeah, uh, I think you'll see some success, like you mentioned. Baby steps, uh, like last week. Adam Mazer, 90-yard kick return for a touchdown. Boom. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Caden, Caden Kiefer has been really good at quarterback last week. Passed for 100 yards, rushed for 100 yards, and a touchdown. So they made some strides. They dug some things. Unfortunately for those guys, they're stuck in Section 2 in LL League, which is one of the best sections top to bottom in District 3, if not this side of the state, no doubt about it. But, yeah, I think Effort of wins next year, and I think I've said that a couple times right, right here during the season. I think they win. Uh, Columbia is a struggling program with not many kids out. Elko's got a, lo uh, a lot of young kids. Octorera comes into the section next year, and we don't know anything about them and how they're going to react to their first time around the LL. So I think if, if Effort it keeps doing what it's doing, and I know the, the, uh, the losing streak probably hits 50 here this week against Cocalico, which is dynamite. I don't think they get to that 58. 58 by Kutztown is the losing streak right now, longest in state history. I don't think Effort gets to that. I, I definitely think with Kiefer and a lot of kids coming back uh, and, Co and Coach Miller really doing some things there, I think they win next year. I'm not saying 10 and 0, but I definitely think Effort gets in the win column next season. So. Be patient, mounts. A lot of positive vibes coming uh, towards Ephrata in 2018. Agreed. All right, Jeff, another week winding down. Thanks again for joining sure. us. We're going to bring you back next week okay. for week 10 when everything is all laid <laughs> oh, out, yeah. the finale in, in the regular season. <laughs> Don't forget to check out Jeff's work at LancasterOnline.com or just give him a follow on Twitter at JeffReinhardt77. Well, that'll do it for the halftime show. Thanks for watching. Just a reminder, High School Game Night's post-game show airs tonight at 1030 with Brian Cast and Chad Landers. But for now, we're going to send you back out to Linnitz for second half action between Warwick and Conestoga Valley. We'll see you after the game.